good late afternoon on this cloudy, uh, increasingly muggy day as I get into the uh, state of Indiana right now, right? Um, we got some pumping going on in the crypto market, and we're going to go to Dogecoin's a perfect one example. We Remember we wrote that in the green line? We'll make that a brighter color so you can see it a little bit better. This is going to be a brief update because I'm still driving. I still got like three hours to go. Right there, we drew that the other day for you and said we could try to squeeze and ooze our way up with low volume, which we have low volume. We've had a couple peaks in volume right there, right? We'll pour a little uh, perching tool out, right? Right here to right there to right here. And then we're going to perch from, this is where the 200-day moving average is, I believe in the four-hour time frame. And we drew this the other night and said, it's got to come out of this pattern by here, which was today. And we said, you could come up here in that track we drew out about 48 hours ago. It said you could come up here to this overhead two, uh, moving average of 200 day that's going to be here. I think it's the four hour. And then you would have to see if any volume comes in, which you've only got one little spike right there. And if no volume comes in, you're going to eventually start to trade back down. I don't see any volume coming in. So I would say the likelihood of breaking way, way up there, way up there is the least probable solution and the most probable solution in a probability-based way is the price is gonna come back down there and retest on the next couple of days before you get too much higher than that green line. Uh, Zill, we haven't talked about it in a few days. Oh, we have, the other day we talked about it. Uh, I love how that comes with me. We drew this out either today, last night or this morning and we said you could ooze and try to hit up to where in the hour time frame, the 200 day moving average would be with light volume at like 12 and a half, 13 cents. And we're trying to trick, trickle and ooze our way up there. So pay attention and Zill. You could squeeze up to here and then you'd probably get rejected at old resistance, right? Upper resistance and then you would trade back down. Pay attention to that. Looks like you're gonna try to retest that tonight. Uh, XLM real quick and then I'll post this video. XLM, we came up to test some upper support or resistance. All right, it's what it looks like to me. You see, we drew that out for you the other day in that blue line, and it's testing that upper resistance right now, and it got rejected three times today. If it can break that, the 40 cents level, or actually higher than that, if it can break out of that, I would say right up there with that 200 day moving, 45 cents would be your target if you can break out of that 40 cent. Uh, upper resistance 45 cents to be your next logical target if you come back down and get rejected and break down 21 cents is your next logical target in the next few days to weeks uh, more updates to come as i get back to the hotel and uh tomorrow as i get back on a normal track uh i'm not a financial advisor nor i play one of my own radio show peace and love peace and love